Imagine opening an app on your laptop, not for music, not for editing photos, but for hacking. Just a few years ago, this would have sounded like something out of a Hollywood movie, but today, it's a reality that's both fascinating and a little unsettling. The interface is sleek and modern, with big bold buttons labeled Scan Network, Crack Password, Launch Attack. It looks more like a productivity app than a tool for digital espionage. With just a few clicks, you can instantly see every device connected to the coffee shop's Wi-Fi, or even try to break into the office printer next door. The power at your fingertips is almost unbelievable. This isn't sci-fi, it's 2025, and the future of hacking has arrived faster than anyone expected. These all-in-one hacking toolkits are not only real, but they're also legal in many places and shockingly easy to use. Anyone with a laptop and an internet connection can get started in minutes. Hacking used to be a secretive, complex skill, something that took years to master. Now it's as simple as using a music player or checking your email. Years of study, late nights learning code and endless trial and error. Not required anymore. The barrier to entry has all but disappeared. These toolkits hide all the complexity behind a friendly dashboard, making powerful hacking tools accessible to almost anyone, regardless of their technical background. It's both revolutionary and honestly a little scary. The same technology that can help protect us can also be used against us. Originally, these tools were designed for ethical hackers, professionals hired by companies to find security holes before criminals do. They were meant to make the internet safer, but once these toolkits are released online, anyone can download them. Students, neighbors, or people with bad intentions. The genie is out of the bottle. The tool itself is neutral. It just follows orders. It doesn't care who's using it or why. We're at a crossroads. These digital Swiss army knives can be used to protect secrets or to steal them. The same toolkit can be a shield or a weapon. The technology is racing ahead, evolving faster than laws or ethics can keep up and we're all along for the ride whether we like it or not. The real question isn't can it be done, but who's doing it and why? The motives behind the clicks matter more than ever. Understanding these tools, how they work, what they can do, and how to defend against them is the first step to staying safe in this new digital landscape. The power is out there, available to anyone, and it's up to us to use it wisely and responsibly. The line between good and bad is thinner than ever, and it's easy to cross without even realizing it. In this wild new world, knowledge is your best defense. Staying informed is the only way to protect yourself and those around you. So let's dive in and see what these toolkits are all about. The future of hacking is here. Are you ready to understand it? So, what is an all-in-one hacking toolkit? Think of it as a digital master toolbox bundling dozens of hacking tools into one easy package. Instead of juggling multiple programs, you get everything in a single, user-friendly dashboard. No command line skills needed. If you can use a browser, you can use this. The real magic? Integration. Scanning, finding weaknesses, and launching attacks all happen seamlessly. These kits automate what used to be a clunky, multi-step process. Built on powerful, open-source frameworks, they're accessible to everyone from students to pros. The creators say they're democratizing cybersecurity, making it easier to learn and test defenses. But they also make complex attacks dangerously simple. It's like being handed the keys to a Formula One car. Immense power, for good or for trouble. The bar for entry has never been lower. Let's take a closer look inside one of these powerful toolkits, the kind used by both hackers and cybersecurity professionals alike. First up is the Network Scanner, an essential tool that automatically maps out every device connected to a network, from everyday laptops and smartphones to smart fridges and even security cameras. It reveals the digital landscape, showing what's online and where vulnerabilities might hide. Next, we have the Exploit Framework. This is a collection of pre-written code designed to target and attack known vulnerabilities in software or hardware. With just a few clicks, Attackers can launch sophisticated cyber attacks that once required deep expertise. Metasploit is the most famous exploit framework, often built right into these toolkits, making it a go-to choice for both attackers and defenders. Then there's the Wi-Fi attack suite. These tools can crack Wi-Fi passwords, intercept data as it travels through the air, 
or even set up fake hotspots to trick users into connecting and unknowingly sharing their private information. Phishing kits are included too, making it shockingly easy to create convincing fake login pages for popular websites. With these, attackers can steal usernames and passwords in minutes. Payload generators are another key feature. They craft malicious files, like booby-trapped PDFs or Word documents, that when opened, secretly give attackers access to the victim system. Altogether, it's a full package for digital mischief, cybercrime or legitimate security testing, depending on who's using it. The best part for beginners? Everything is point and click, with user-friendly interfaces that require little to no deep technical knowledge. These kits put a professional hacker's entire arsenal into the hands of anyone, from curious amateurs to seasoned experts. The result? Attacks that once took hours or even days can now be executed in just minutes, dramatically increasing the speed and scale of cyber threats. The power these toolkits offer is very real, and so is the risk they pose to individuals, businesses, and society at large. That's why understanding what's inside these toolkits truly matters. Knowledge is the first step toward defense. How can software that cracks passwords and breaks into systems be legal? It comes down to intent. These are dual-use tools, like a kitchen knife, legal until misused. They're marketed for education and research, meant for ethical hackers and security pros. The terms of service always say, only use on systems you own or have permission to test. But once downloaded, anyone can use them for good or bad. The legal line is thin. Owning is legal, unauthorized use is a crime. A curious teen testing their school's network could face serious charges. The law punishes actions, not possession. As these kits get easier, the temptation grows. The legal system is struggling to keep up. The responsibility is on the user. So why do these toolkits exist? Because defenders need them too. Ethical hackers, digital security guards, use the same tools as criminals to find weak spots before real attacks happen. They work under strict contracts, with clear rules about what they can test. With permission, they simulate attacks, find vulnerabilities, and report them so companies can fix their defenses. The goal isn't to steal, but to protect. After testing, they deliver detailed reports and solutions. These kits are also vital for training, letting students and pros practice safely in virtual labs. Cybersecurity is always evolving, and hands-on experience is key. In the right hands, these toolkits are our best defense. They help build a safer digital world. It's all about using power responsibly. By 2025, a handful of powerful toolkits have risen to dominate the cybersecurity landscape, shaping how professionals and enthusiasts approach digital defense and offense. PWN Box Pro stands out for its slick drag and drop interface, almost like a video game for security testing. Its intuitive design means even newcomers can quickly get up to speed, while seasoned experts appreciate the speed and flexibility it offers for complex tasks. It's a favorite for pros who need speed and efficiency, letting them automate repetitive tasks and focus on the real challenges. HackSuite Ultimate is known for its massive feature set, especially its advanced tools for testing Android devices and the ever-growing world of smart gadgets. In a world where everything from your fridge to your thermostat is online, that's a big deal. Security pros need tools that can keep up with the explosion of connected devices. GhostNet OS is a full operating system built for hacking, with powerful tools for gathering online intelligence, automating reconnaissance, and crafting sophisticated social engineering attacks. It can pull data from social media, public records, and even breach databases to create convincing phishing campaigns that are hard to spot. And then there's Kali Linux, the open source classic that's been the backbone of penetration testing for years. It's the foundation for many modern toolkits, packed with hundreds of tools, but it requires more technical skill and a willingness to dive deep into the command line. The new commercial kits put a friendly face on the raw power Kali has offered for years, making advanced security accessible to a wider audience. These aren't underground tools anymore. They're polished, professional, and widely used by companies and individuals alike. The landscape is crowded with options, but these names consistently lead the pack, setting the standard for what's possible in cybersecurity. And with each new release, the tools are only getting better, smarter, and more powerful, reshaping the future of digital security.
All this might sound scary, but you're not helpless. Start with strong, unique passwords for every account. Use a password manager to keep track. Keep your devices and software updated. Those patches close the very holes hackers target. Be suspicious of unexpected messages. Phishing is still the easiest way in. Never click links or download attachments from unknown sources. Enable two-factor authentication wherever possible. It's a huge security boost. These simple steps make you a much harder target. You don't have to be unhackable, just more trouble than you're worth. Good digital habits are your best defense. Stay alert, stay updated, and you'll stay safer. The basics work. Use them. These toolkits are the ultimate double-edged sword. In the right hands, they help protect millions, finding and fixing flaws before disaster strikes. They're essential for building a safer digital world. But the same features that help defenders also empower attackers. Now even amateurs can launch serious attacks. It's an arms race. As soon as defenders find a new trick, it's added to the toolkit for everyone, including criminals. The window to fix vulnerabilities is shrinking. The toolkit itself is neutral, just code. It amplifies the intent of whoever uses it. In the hands of a pro, it's a shield. In the wrong hands, a weapon. The technology doesn't choose, people do. That's the reality of this new era. In 2025, these toolkits put incredible power in anyone's hands. They can protect or attack, depending on the user. The key isn't fear, but awareness. For everyday users, good digital hygiene, strong passwords, updates, skepticism, locks your digital doors. For the industry, it's about training, ethics, and building secure software. The responsibility is shared by everyone. A tool is only as good or bad as its user. The line between right and wrong is drawn by the person at the keyboard. As these tools spread, our choices matter more than ever. That's the challenge and the opportunity of our digital future.